How's it going guys? It is Ashley here. Welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game between Olympiakos and Wolves in Greece. Uh, it's the first leg of the round of 16 tie and it ended 1-1. I mean, looking back on it, hopefully, um, hopefully next week um, it will prove to be decisive that we did end up getting uh, an away goal. It was it was pretty strange. Obviously, uh, before the game, it was announced the game would be played behind closed doors due to, due to the um, coronavirus outbreak that is spreading uh, across Europe um, right now, and is forcing um, countries like Italy to uh, take serious measures. But anyway, uh, aside from that, it was. Still, with, with, with no fans in the ground, um, some did manage to get in. I don't know how, but I, I don't know what they were in for. It must have been for some special exception or something. I, I, apart from that, um, it was completely behind closed doors. It was a pretty stale first half, to put it bluntly. It was a pretty stale first half, and... Chances were most definitely at the premium. Uh, we had a couple of our chances, so did Olympiakos, and probably Olympiakos had the better of the chances um, that they carved out, but it wasn't really um, a, uh, a very good first, first half. It was quite a, uh, a low key affair. I mean, we went in a half time, nil nil. I mean, all I can say about the first half really is. For the first 20 minutes, Olympiakos um, were quite controlling, uh, but throughout the whole first half, we held off Olympiakos quite well. Olympiakos tried to get a head start on the game, they tried to get an early goal, but uh, we, were quite, we were quite resilient uh, defensively. We were putting quite a good, quite a solid uh, defensive performance, I would say, uh, across the game. Although, as, as I say, chances were at a premium, so our defence didn't really have much to do other than knock the ball around and I mean in the first half if I had to pick um, a standout performer uh, in the first half it's probably Adama Traore he put a couple of good crosses into the box but uh, nothing really came of them unfortunately and uh, as I say nil nil at half time I mean going into this game I would have definitely taken a draw um, and it was heading that way. It was most certainly heading that way. Um, the way the game was being played out, uh, we were sitting quite deep. And as we grew into the second half, uh, with about half an hour to play, Olympiakos did take the lead. Um, it was similar to the goal we conceded against Espanyol in the second leg, uh, where. They just uh, went down the wing, put a, a low ball into the box, and there was a uh, man just to uh, tap it in um, at the far post. And we were 1 0 down. I mean, it was quite disappointing um, because in the second half, we were mo more of the same as we were in the first half. We weren't really creating any significant chances, and it, it was quite disappointing, really. Um, throughout the whole game because I felt like we could have done a lot more especially uh, because um, Olympiacos went out to 10 men uh, in the first half uh, I don't believe I definitely didn't uh, mention that before so yeah Olympiacos did go down to 10 men and we could have done a lot more uh, considering the circumstances and um, we definitely could have opened them up a lot more but we didn't lucky we got the away goal really because it definitely wasn't uh, one of our best performances this season uh, in Europe. League. We most certainly have played much, much better than this. And um, even in in scenarios like this, where where no fans are in the stadium, or it is quite um, well, quite a low quality game. Um, we usually um, create quite, uh, quite a few chances and. Um, sometimes we managed to just smash and grab, but this time, this this time we just couldn't open them up. And well, it's it's kind of kudos to Olympiacos; they were quite organised, like Brighton were 
um, at the weekend and it was very hard to open them up. We found a, quite, quite a lot of space on the wing but Olympiacos, um, the, their defenders were uh, quite quick to close the time trail right down. He definitely um, did have more luck in the first half than he did in the second half and well that's probably why we didn't create as many chances as we would have liked. But anyway, um, we did eventually get a goal through a well-worked free kick. It did take a deflection, but a goal is a goal. And in these circumstances where we're not creating um, many chances, um, a de facto goal or not will take any kind of goal. And an away goal is a away goal, and it definitely helps um, And the, in these kind of games. Um, when you're struggling, so it was one-one, and I, suppose, I think after the, that goal went in, we definitely started to pick up the tempo, and we started to play a lot, lot better. And uh, we had a couple of efforts that weren't far away. Uh, one from Ruben Neves, uh, probably uh, the closest we came to uh, a winner was through Ruben Neves. Uh, his shot uh, just went right wide of Jose Sar's goal. Um, but that's probably the closest we came, really, um, to a winner. And the game went in 1-1. It's a good it's, it's a good draw. Before the game, as I said, um, I definitely um, would have taken a draw, um, considering the circumstances. Um, but the way uh, the game was played out, we definitely could have uh, played a lot better and we definitely were capable uh, of more than just a draw. Um, we, we really could, if we, played, if we played better, we definitely uh, could have won. Um, considering for, for the majority of the game, really, we were playing against 10 men, definitely for the whole of the second half. So, yeah, we could, we, lots of improvements uh, to be made uh, for the second leg in a week's time. Uh, but hopefully uh, we can get through to the quarterfinals for the Europa League because we have got that um, home leg now to fall back on um, next Thursday with the uh, added bonus of that away goal to uh, support us um, if we need as well. So, yeah, a one-all draw. Um, not really our, our best performance, uh, but hopefully uh, we can improve uh, in time for... Uh, the second leg next week uh, at Monu, and uh, hopefully we can get the job done there. But yeah, if you did enjoy this match review, make sure to smash that like button, and uh, I shall see you on Sunday with a review of the West Ham game. Again, we really do need to pick up three points in if we're going to continue our pursuit of the top four in the Premier League. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you then. Until then, goodbye, guys. <laughs>